All right, y'all. Um, kind of want to show y'all what I'm into right now. Uh, first, I want to show you the situation. Um, right back here, there's an old pile of lumber there. Well, right on the other side of that lumber is a log, and I have been pouring uh, mineral and stuff on that log. The deer have been eating on the log, and of course, I guess y'all can see that's our trail camera right there. And uh, got a stand right up over there. And what this is, y'all, this is like a little bottom here. A little bottom here. It's got like a little natural draw, like a wet weather creek channel. And um, wet weather waterway, I guess you call it. And uh, up and down this waterway, there's all kind of white oaks, acorns all over the place. And uh, so what I'm going to do, y'all, there's a doe trail. Let me get this thing, see if I can get it set back up here. There's a doe trail. Probably a good 20 yards over here. And coming down through here, we think this is a buck trail because we found two or three rubs getting down through here. All right, so what we're going to do, I'm going to make a mock straight. And uh, first thing I always look for, like I said, I'm in between the doe trail and the buck trail. I'm close to a mineral source, I'm close to a food source, and there's a pond back in here, water source not too far away. So, um, we always want an overhanging limb. Some people call it a licking branch, um, overhanging limb. Anyway, and I got me a stick, and I'm just gonna haul out the ground. You know, we try to do this to leave as least human scent as possible. And you want this right underneath where your branch is going to be. When I do this, I always try to picture if you ever seen a book make a scrape fall to the ground. Kind of try to picture that in my head. All right. There's our scrape. The stick even left little marks in it, like a deer's hoof would. All right. Now, I'm taking work some of these in. A lot of times a deer hook his horns in these and kind of break and tear the limbs. Stuff like that. So now, I'm going to take this is active scrape made by Wildlife Research Center. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour this over these limbs and leaves and let it run down in the on the ground where I've scraped the leaves and stuff back at the dirt crib. All right. And something else I'm gonna do, y'all. I just introduced these in a video. This is some of the stuff I won from Rackaholics. This is a complete scrape. And it's a gel dispenser. You twist it and the gel comes out. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take the rug from that complete scrape scent all up on this limb on the leaves. Just whatever I can do to make it smell like a buck's been here. Alright. And this one is like a dominant book. I'm gonna do the same thing with it. Maybe we can put them on this little room here on the other side of this thing. Alright, now hopefully hopefully this is enough that's going to agitate this deer a little bit, make him think another buck's trying to come in here. 
and check in with his girlfriend. So uh, we're gonna see how that does. One more thing we're gonna do, this new white tail bedding scent. It's like a calming scent. I'm gonna spray a little bit of that on the foliage. Just around where I've made my scrape, I'm not gonna spray it straight on the scrape. And what that's gonna do, this is a cover, a calming cover attractant. So it's gonna make it smell like other deer come in here and bed it down. It's gonna also cover up my scent and kind of do away with that. But uh, anyway, y'all, that's how I make a mock scrape. And uh, I've had quite a bit of luck with them. But anyway, we're gonna let this thing sit here, see what happens. And uh, we'll let you know. All right, y'all. Well, y'all, been out this morning sitting in the blind. Only seen two deer. Got down, um, messed around, went to take my scent pods and stuff off of my scrape, and I had a deer walk in on me. I took a shot from the ground, um, probably 22-yard shot, 22, 24 yards. And, uh, y'all, he run about maybe 40, 50 yards. There was no way I could get this on film, but uh, anyway, I want y'all to look what that rage done. Look at that blood. 
Now on the way up here, we didn't start finding a lot of blood, but I'm telling you, it ain't 40, 50 yards where I hit him at, to where he's laying. Let's go here and look at him. He done kicked around, buried his tail. Look at the blood on that tree. Oh my God, y'all. I'm gonna tell you what, son. That right there, is what bow hunting's all about, y'all. Nine point. What do you think it is, Gary? Shit, I don't know, brother. 16, 17 inches. Look where he's been rubbing on trees. On yeah. This. Y'all, this is the biggest deer I've taken probably ever. And uh, got to do it with my Matthews. It was a great morning, got out this morning. Um, I was in the stand probably 535, 540 this morning. And... Uh, we're sitting there in the blind. Like I said, had a had a doe come in about 40 yards, and then had another buck. He was uh, a little smaller than this, I think. I didn't get a real good look at him. He was he was actually chasing a doe this morning. And then, uh, like I said, it was about I don't know 9:45. I decided I was gonna head out, and warm up, get some coffee, and come back in the woods. And uh, I walked down there that mock scrape I made last weekend. Took the scent pods, you know, taking my scent pods off of things I run one from a rackaholic. Uh, I was taking them off a limb. I got one of them down. Had my fanny pack turned around in front of me. And, uh, y'all, I looked up. This joker, he was probably 35 yards walking straight at me. So I just squatted down there, grabbed my bow. Got my fanny pack and everything turned around. Got my face mask on. And I had to wait to get trees in between me and him where he couldn't see me and I got stood up and then he crossed the creek went behind another little tree and a bunch of foliage and stuff so when he did I got drawn back and I waited for him to step into opening and uh, I shot him I don't know it was uh I think it was about 22 yards <coughs> and I hit him pretty much right where I wanted to y'all yeah well, hey, y'all, I just want to give a special shout-out to Gary Price. Gary's working camera for me. Come help me retrieve this deer. He's been letting me hunt up here, and uh, me and Gary, we've been we've been together all our lives. I think Gary was about five, and I was about eight when we both. Yep. And uh, we've been buddies ever since. I mean, we more, we more than buddies. We brothers, you know. And uh, we've been watching these deer on camera. Gary's been checking the cards every, every chance he gets, and on the weekends, we've been coming up here and trying to get in the woods, and y'all, we've been patient, waiting for these things to get daylight pictures. We got our first daylight picture. I think it was Monday or Tuesday last week, wasn't it, Gary? Right. And uh, he was that smaller buck that I seen this morning. And this joker, he was still at nighttime, and we got in here last week, made a mock scrape. We tried to make him feel like a, another buck coming in here and uh, messing with his girlfriend. That way, we aggravate him a little bit and get him, you know, frequent the spot more and. We only put out scent when we was in the woods. Like when we was here hunting, it's when we put out scent and pressure these scrapes up. And y'all, anybody tell you mock scrapes don't work? <laughs> they work. I was standing almost on top of my mock scrape when I shot this deer at 22 yards. But anyway, y'all, I just want to tell y'all, appreciate you watching. I thank God and everybody that was involved in taking this deer. And uh, we'll see y'all later. What about him, Gary? All right, there he is, y'all. This is, might not be a monster to some people, but this is uh, my biggest bow kill. 
and uh, I'm really excited about it, proud of it. Um, the way it happened was kind of odd, but uh, I was actually on the ground. This thing come walking up on me within, I, I noticed him about, I don't know, 35, 45 yards away. And I uh, kind of had to maneuver around and um, figure out where he was going and what he was doing. And then um, finally got myself situated and got a shot at him about 22 yards this morning. Um, Y'all can see there, my good shot though, Ray done what it's supposed to. And uh, Matthews is right on point there. But y'all, I just want to show you this is what I ended up with. It's a good nine point. Um, Y'all can see, look at the, where he's been rubbing this morning, see the tree. And when we was dragging him out, we seen the tree where he was rubbing probably just about maybe two minutes before he walked in and I shot him. There he is, y'all. Just wanted to share with you. And uh, I want to thank everybody involved with this. We appreciate y'all watching.